Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, I am going to be trying out one of the most popular items on YouTube right now. It's what everyone is talking about. It's the chatter as of right now. And that is the collaboration palette with Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette and the packaging is just as beautiful as the palette itself. Everything about the packaging on this palette is gorgeous. And the shades inside of this palette are just as gorgeous as the packaging that's holding this beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette together. There are different formulas in this palette. You've got some matte shades, you've got some shimmer shades, and then you also have some pressed glitter type shades. So it's a very dynamic palette. You can do a lot with it. And I just had to have it for one. I wanted to show my support to Jackie Ina. And then also I just wanted to have this in my collection because I know that Jackie formulated this palette for darker skin tones or for those of us who have a little bit more melanin in our skin. So this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. So I had to pick this palette up. Also, if you are interested in picking this palette up, keep in mind that Sephora is going to be having a sale that's going to be happening here in the next week or so. It's a VIB sale in August. So look out for this palette. The retail cost of this palette is $45 and you can pick it up at Sephora or you can pick it up on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. So without further ado, let's get into this look. So I'm going to go into the first shade out of the Jackie Ina palette and I'm going to use the color Soleil and I'm going to use that as my Ravlon highlight. And I'm using the shade Ginger as my transition shade. And I'm just building this up to my desired intensity. Looks good. And now I'm going to take the shade Edges and I'm going to put this a little bit more tightly into my crease area just to add a little bit of depth into that crease area. I am tapping off my brush as well before applying these shadows uh, there is a little bit of kick up in the pan but uh, still the shadows are stacking very nicely on top of each other the pigmentation is there and a simple tap off of the brush is helping to minimize any potential fallout these shades stack beautifully on top of each other Now I'm going to take this shade Credit, which is a dark chocolatey brown shade in this Jackie Ina palette. And this is really, really a deep brown. It's really pretty. And I'm just placing that on my outer V. Add a little bit more to this side just to even them up. The 
very pretty. I have carved out my lids. Did like a little half cut crease type of situation here. And I'm gonna go back into the shade Credit once again. That's the darker chocolate brown type of shade that I have on the outer V here. And I am going to soften up the edges of where I have carved out this lid. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to apply this color to the outer V. And I'm just going to soften up these edges just a little bit. Looks pretty. And now I'm going to use one of the pressed glitter shades out of the Jackie Ina palette and it's called Zam. And I'm going to use my MAC 242 and I'm going to spritz my brush with some MAC Fix Plus. And I'm going to dip right into this pressed glitter shade here. And I'm gonna place this right on top of where I have carved out my lids. And I'm starting with the inner corner first and then just working my way outward. This is a really soft formula of shadow in this palette, but it is gorgeous. Very pretty. And now I'm going in with the shade Sponsored. This shade intrigues me so much. It's a beautiful shade in this palette. It's like a, almost like a duochrome type of shade, but uh, I'm gonna use that in this area right in here to blend the Credit and the Zam shades that I already have on my lid just to marry those two colors together. So I'm gonna try this with a fluffy brush first to see how that works. I might have to switch back over to my 242 but we'll see. I like that. I feel like I lost a little bit of my brown here on the outer edge, so I'm gonna touch that up just a little bit, just a little bit, little bitty bit. I want that color to stay as part of the picture for this look. So I don't wanna lose it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more.
I like that. Very pretty. I'm going to use my even smaller blending brush. This is a Sigma blending brush and this is an E36. And this is the brush you guys see me use all the time when I am adding a little bit more definition into my crease area for my hooded eyes. And I am just going to add a little bit more definition into this area where I have manipulated my natural crease. And I'm using that shade credit to do that. Very pretty. I'm going to add my liner and my lashes. I'm also going to finish off my complexion and I'm going to come back so we can finish the eyes. So I've added my liner and my lashes. I've also finished off my complexion and now I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm going to be smoking out my waterline just a little bit. I am going to keep this rather warm even though this palette does have some really bright and vivid colors in it. I'm going to try to keep to the same color scheme that I've got here on my eyes. So I'm just going to go back into the shade Credit, which is that dark chocolatey brown color. And I'm going to run that right along my waterline here. That added a little smoke. I'm gonna take a little bit of the edges, which is the second shade that I used in my crease area, and I'm going to just blend this in with that darker shade on my waterline. So I'm blending the credit and the edges together. And now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Dollars. And I'm gonna use that right in this inner corner here. And this look is done. Everything about the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. I did encounter a little bit of kick up in the pan while using this palette, but that was expected and it's definitely not a deal breaker for me. I've got some other looks in mind that I'd like to create using this palette. I've got to use the shade Wigglies, Shookington, Trust Issues. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.